A rapid reaction force will stand ready to respond to any crisis in Europe. This was one of the measures NATO countries approved on Friday to address the unrest in Ukraine. The move also aims to reassure allies who are concerned about Russia's ambitions in the region. Should something happen, a force of about 5,000 soldiers such as these will be able to respond within two days. British Prime Minister David Cameron also discussed plans to hit Russia in the pocketbook. There has been a clear message sent out from this conference to Russia that what President Putin is doing is indefensible and wrong. While we meet here in Newport, a package of sanctions is being finalized in Brussels that will further increase the economic cost to Russia for its behavior. The multi-prong approach was agreed to as Ukrainian officials signed a ceasefire agreement with pro-Russian separatists. President Obama echoed what many in Kiev are thinking. We are hopeful, but based on past experience, also skeptical uh, that in fact, the separatists will follow through and the Russians will stop violating Ukraine's sovereignty. While Ukraine and pro-Russian separatists have agreed to lay down their weapons, rebels say differences remain. Leader of the self-proclaimed Luhansk People's Republic, Igor Plitnitsky. So it does not mean that our goal to break away from Ukraine is over. No, the ceasefire is a needed step in order to stop bloodshed among the united people. So far, an estimated 2,600 people have been killed in the region since the unrest started earlier this year.